Hey guys, today we are out in Ackworth, New Hampshire. I say we. I have Barry and John, if you can see them over my shoulder. And they're off looking for a well because I am standing in a foundation. Not just any foundation either. Check this out. So this foundation is the first one we found that is partially made of quartz. All right, not quite partially, but there's a big old piece right there. And just mixed in with all this other uh, slabs of rock. And more than just fieldstone, too. Uh, we found at least one over this way. Uh, and the shadow's going to be tricky, but that's got a long drill mark here. So some quarried stone to build this foundation. So this is the first cool thing we found. Uh, we're off to look for... Uh, we know there's a big quarry out here. We're still about a half mile from it. So we, where you have one mine, often you have several. So we're going to go out, we're going to check that quarry out, see what it's about, if it is flooded, is there any old equipment, and we're going to spend some time uh, searching the woods surrounding. Moving along, we're about a quarter mile to where we're going to start looking for some action, and got a really cool wall. It's it's made of, uh doesn't look like regular field stone, like a like slate maybe that was brought in. But then the other thing is uh, scattered throughout are all these pieces of quartz. And that uh, tells us hopefully that we're headed towards something fun. All right, got our first spot. It's a little uh, surface quarried area. Uh, probably 30 feet, 30 feet. Uh, into the wall a little bit here and over here and some small scrap piles throughout uh, So just a nice little uh, Surface mine uh, a little bit flooded Maybe some uh, little rock hounding to do but a sign that we uh, were on the edges of the Area that was mined Hey, so we just popped out on this uh, old road here We came along the top. This is ledge here and we came along the top, spotted a, a mine, and it looks like it's going to be good size. I uh, haven't really got a, a look at it yet. Came around the side, or the, to the entrance, and we're entering a big cut. And we were just saying, commenting, this is like coming into Yuhas. This is big. And you can see, uh, it looks like it caverns at the back. So we got a little bit of, whoop, a little bit of mess is what I'm walking through. All right. Well, this would be nice to see in uh, ice over. So I've hit about as far as I can go, unless I can crawl the side. But we got a big cavern. This is a great little, uh, great big mine. Wow! Check this out, guys. So these are 30-foot walls. You can see all the drill marks coming down in various spots. Got about a 15-foot big cavern here. This would be fun to come up at ice over. I mean, we can see everything, but it's always cool just to be able to stand in there and look out. All right, came around and have a look at this side and to make sure we weren't missing anything up in the end here. So it's just cavern. I don't want to say just cavern because it's a really cool cavern. Like a little pocket in there. So, great find. And uh, we haven't even hit the big core yet. Still on our nice road and came across a not quite as nice bridge. All right, guys, coming up to the big quarry. And this is something I don't think I've ever seen. A boat, a dock at the quarry. Big old quarry. We got a little cavern over there. This dock looks Oh, a little suspect. I'm not sure I'm going to walk out on it, but let's have a look. All right, here's the dock, and what you see, that's a metal... Uh, it's almost like a, like what you see on a conveyor belt, but not, uh, not moving. And it's got the uh, metal bar underneath, so I think it's actually going to be sturdy if it's attached good on the dock side. And it's uh, even a little crumbly, but built right into the cement here. So, let's see standing on it and this actually feels quite solid 
Alright, that's a cool cavern over there. I'm getting a better look at it. Now, maybe when it wasn't flooded, we have a entrance, an adit right there. Alright, John, I'm going to walk out on this. Attaboy. <laughs> All right, coming up to another spot, and let's see what we have. Big old quarried area like the others. Ooh, pretty deep, pretty flooded. Let's go around for a look. Boy, look at this. Look at this pile of rocks, huh? This wall they built, wow. All right, here we are. There's a 200 foot cut. Flooded. And, oh, what do you think? A little bit under the rocks there, maybe? I guess we'd have to come up at ice over to see take away the flooding and I that it could very well be the top of a uh, adit that goes in you know might just chamber like the others this is pretty open quarrying very cool spot all right I came around along the side here and I'm just looking in toward the back I think it's just like the others we saw you take away the flooding it might cavern in five ten feet but uh, that's it so we're not going to, you know, we could come up at ice over and it'd be really cool to walk across, but we're not going to be busting out the flashlights for that. Third big quarry out here. What do you think, an old fender maybe? That's my guess. Right, guys coming into one right now and this is a uh, short little cut 25 30 feet uh, a little water a little squishiness here enough to stop me from going any further there's nothing underground it's uh i would call this just a exploratory prospect quarry and that's it it looks like it might have gone around the corner there but it doesn't uh, but another mined area this tree is a survivor. Look at that. That big sucker fell. And uh, these limbs said no problem. Each one of them grew into its own tree. All right. Total for the day, 5.4 miles. Some nice, easy going. Uh, bushwhacking, but nice and open bushwhacking. And a little bit of climbing. So it was a nice mix. Uh, and a perfect day. All sun, and once we got going, it was warm. It was chilly this morning. It was 28 when I left the house. But great day. We brought you to uh, three, four different mines, some nice big ones, and uh, just a little, a little bit of underground stuff to make it fun. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, another trip up to the mountains of New Hampshire. Back to the real world for us, and see you next time.